everybody, Caden here today with another episode of Minecraft Dinosaurs. And today, we're back on the world to, well, kind of finish what we started last episode, which is building up our, uh, what is it? The barn, that's what it is. Anyway, um, I did a bit of work on it. You can kind of see here, I had to go get more clay because I actually ran out and I didn't grab the dye. I think we have cyan dye in here, right? Yes. I was dumb though, and I didn't use my fortune pickaxe, or fortune pickaxe, fortune shovel to, uh, oh, do I have to, oh, is it, uh, what is it, it's like, this, isn't it, yeah, that's, okay, I kind of forgot that's how it was, so I don't need as much cyan dye as I have, that's nice, I guess, well, I guess it means I don't have to make any more for a little while, and um, terracotta. I need to do like a terracotta mining mission at this point. It's kind of, kind of bad. Anyway, it's literally about to be nighttime again. I'm just gonna quickly, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring a bed with me because I'm gonna be a smart boy this time and do the thing I keep saying I should do, but never do. Anyway, um, so we're gonna quickly just run up here and go over to the trike exhibit. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba. uh, so. <laughs> Sorry, I am like so busy with stuff today. Uh, my brain's a little fried, if you can't tell. Um, today, actually, is the start of the thing. I mentioned this last episode, but I realized I mentioned it at the end. So I don't know how many people actually heard about this, but there's a new series coming to the channel, and that will be a uh, SMP. Which, yes, I already know. It, it's not going to do well. I don't care. I want to do it because it's been something I've been talking about doing with us, all the people in it, for quite a while now. So it's it, it's been a project I've really been building up to, and I'm honestly super excited to do it. So yeah, it's gonna happen. Also, a piano is playing in the background. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Anyway, uh, this is what we have so far. Oh, I need to brand. Oh, we have to go run back to the storage room. Actually, you know what? We aren't gonna build anything on camera right now. We'll just kind of do this. Um. Anyway. Before I talk more about that, I wanted to show you guys this. I, I've started laying out the majority of uh, the barn, and I'm realizing I might switch up the layout a teeny, teeny, tiny bit. I'm getting a phone call from something. Yeet. My phone is now like being flung across the room, which is a really bad idea considering it's a smartphone and those things are notorious for breaking. Um, anyway, uh, we have the barn here, as you can see. I've kind of got like the front. I'm, I was literally mirroring this off the episode where I built uh, the barn. Uh, and I'm actually really happy. I, I think it's quite a good build I did, and I, I, I can't wait to have it back. Anyway, um, so the the plan is, and this is supposed to be the entrance, I realized, but it's like, it, it goes to this way. There's a lot of hill I have to clear here if I want to do this, but I also kind of do want to do it because I also kind of want to get rid of some of this rock wall, bring it in a lot closer. So I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens but I think I'm gonna cut now. Oh wait, no, I wanted to talk about Atlas real quick. So yeah, uh, Atlas is a thing. Um, for those of you who've been around for a super long time. Oh, I do have more oak logs, that's great. Um, you all remember Atlas as a SMP I did back in the day. It is coming back, I'm doing SMPs once again, mostly because I, you know, I really, really enjoyed them back in the day. I haven't done one in like two years and yeah, I wanted to. Uh, so if you guys, want to see that the first episode should hopefully be going up later this week i was going to live stream it unfortunately though i uh, that the time we're at least doing the first episode is just so late uh due to scheduling conflicts that uh, I, I, it's gonna be a, it might be until friday i guess when the episode goes up we'll see anyway um yeah i think that's all i have to talk about for the beginning of the video so we shall crack on with some building so i'll come back to you guys in just a second all right, guys, we're back, and um, I have done a uh, a bit of progress. I don't feel like it looks like I've done much progress, but I have, or maybe it's just I don't remember how much progress I made. Um, but we've got all the walls up now, and uh, we've got some of the basic roof structure going in. And oh my gosh, this build has been such a pain to do because um, evidently I built it very weirdly. Um, and the geometry rule and the rules I followed for how I was constructing this were very odd. So it, I don't know, it's kind of annoying me. I'm assuming the first time I built it, it was like lined up super well. 
Uh, but now when I'm building it again, I'm having all sorts of problems I didn't realize I had last time. Also, I brought out all the shulker boxes because I kind of needed them. Such as uh, the fact this wooden pillar does not line up with the other one. So I'm going to have to figure out how to fix that and a bunch of other things. So yeah, this is, um, this is turning out to be quite the uh, irritation of a project. Which is, uh, it's alright, you know, it's okay. But, I don't know, I wasn't expecting it to be as difficult to build this as it's turning out to be. Um, anyway though, uh, as you can see, you kind of can see what we've got going on with that. Um, I wanted to run around the park real quick, I think, because I think there was another plan I kind of had. Oh, that was, I believe, another exhibit I wanted to work on. So I was going to work actually on another exhibit today as well, and <laughs> it's actually been like a day or two since like the first clip just because, man, I've been busy with so many other things. I really just haven't had time for dinos this week. Um, but I wanted, I think, to try and work a bit on this exhibit too. And I think that might be what I do for the rest of the episode just because to be honest, well, no, I think I'll try and get a bit more progress done on the barn, but like the barn is annoying me so much. It really is. Uh, it's, it's just a build I think I needed to spend a lot more time looking at my reference for and a lot less time just being like, oh, I know how to build it because evidently I do not. It also looks a lot smaller than I remember it being. I remember it being a much larger build back in the day, but maybe I just remembered it wrong. I don't know. Also, maybe... I don't know, I'm starting to th think here that it may have just connected up here with this and then I don't remember how that got added on I don't know actually like this barn's a bit of an enigma to me for how I originally built it, it I mean I built it like two or three years ago now so it's it's an old old build anyway um oh I have one announcement I really want to make so y'all remember in the last clip I said something about Atlas uh coming back and again since it's been like two days since that first clip. Atlas's first episode has actually already gone up, so it's kind of weird that I'm referencing it again in the same Dinos episode, but Atlas has already gone up. Um, and I wanna just, I'm gonna hop around real quick while I mention the series, because I figure Dinos is a pretty good place to remote the series, because yeah. Anyway, um, so Atlas is gonna be a 1.15 vanilla SMB that I'm running with a bunch of other people, so yeah, it's, it should be pretty fun. Uh, the series is going to be a bit different than usual in that instead of recording episodes, uh, every episode will be live streamed, I believe, or hopefully, so far, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at... I don't know exactly. I'm trying to get a, a specific time nailed down for it. Haven't figured anything out yet. Just kind of figuring out what my schedule's kind of looking like right now. Um, but yeah, that will be Atlas. So if you guys are interested in that, uh, feel free to tune in on, on those days. Again, I'm going to try and get like an actual time set up for it, but uh, each episode will probably be about an hour or so, and I don't know, it's cool. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, that's enough uh, shelling out for my own content. Um, I guess I will just go ahead. I'm going to try and do a bit more work here, maybe work a bit on the Pachycephalosaurs, and then I'll be back, so I'll see you guys in just a second. And we're back with... Uh, <laughs> What I, what I managed to do on the uh, roof. So I I don't know how the roof's gonna really look and I don't really, oh my goodness, what are you doing? I swear, if it gets stuck here, you know what? Come on. I'm just putting the dinosaurs on say, honestly. Those two keep getting stuck in there, like honestly. I'm kind of, it's kind of unfortunate. I've, I'm gonna rant a little bit. Basically, we finally got the bug fix where the dinosaurs, like, were dying, right? But now they just glitch through blocks and get stuck in things all the time. And uh, when you tell the dinosaur to follow you, they no longer teleport. So if your dinosaur gets stuck underground, you actually have to dig it all the way out instead of just telling it to follow you and then it'll teleport to you. Which means, uh, a lot of this is a lot more difficult to deal with. And it's kind of annoying because now, like, a tri can just escape its exhibit and you can't really do anything about it, which is annoying. Anyway, that's that's enough on that. You can't tell I've been having to do a lot of that during uh, between when I... It's why not much actually happened, really. Uh, this took a lot longer than expected, mostly just because, you know, I'm trying to hurt around trikes and galleys so that way they don't escape. 
but I got I got the first part of the roof on. Um, I think I'm gonna end this part actually like here. So like uh, just cut it there, raise that pylon up a few more, and then we'll set the second set of the roof up. Um, I just still have some dark wood, but I kind of just didn't feel like working anymore on it again. Like I've been working on this a lot and I've got a lot of other projects I'm kind of going through right now. Uh, but I did get the Pachycephalosaurus exhibit pretty much done. Um, it actually took like 10 minutes to put it together, which was kind of nice. It was a pretty simple fix. Uh, did I do anything else? I think I did something else. Uh, oh, I. I Obviously, I did more planning, um, but as you can see, if we come over here, I just threw in some old spruce trees for the uh, pachycephalosaurs. Um, I think I threw in two fallen logs as well, and I, I, I think it looks, again, it's like the like when we were talking about the therizinosaurus, it looks a lot nicer now that there's just a few trees in there, um, but yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, also, so I think I've nailed down like what's going to be happening for next episode, I think. Uh, hopefully next episode. Um, I'm just gonna finish the barn between episodes pretty much because that barn is annoying me and I don't want to keep watching videos and then trying to build and then record. It's just taking a long time. It's kind of annoying me so I don't want to record it anymore. <laughs> but next episode I think we're gonna tear down this fence, uh, finish putting up the fences around here, kind of finish up a bit of the terrain, and why is there a paleorafe tree in there? I don't remember putting one there. Maybe I accidentally placed a sapling. Who knows? Um, but we'll probably just expand the Brachiosaurus bit, and then I that I'm pretty sure I can do in one episode. And then I think once we do that, I think the only thing that I have planned after that. Well, actually, I don't think I have. It. Well, Ankylosaurus, I guess, but uh, I don't really have a concrete idea of what's going, what we're doing for the Ankylosaurus yet. So I think once we finish the Brachiosaurus. It's gonna be on to uh, Diplodocus, which I remember talking about putting over here and just kind of working with the terrain a lot of around here. Uh, but yeah, I think that's that. So yeah, that'll be kind of, I'm, I'm really excited for that. Um, I do ironically want to build a shelter for the Brachiosaurus and I don't know if we'll do that soon or not. Um, the problem with doing a Brachiosaurus shelter is it's kind of like building a giraffe shelter in that you have to make it ridiculously tall. And to be honest, with the amount of trees we've got in the Brachiosaurus exhibit, I don't think they need one. I think it'd be cool to have one, but uh, it's it's not a necessity right now. So I guess, you know what, because I don't want to do any other thing, we're just going to go over some plans with the series. So we've got Diplodocus in like two episodes, hopefully. Uh, we're going to work on this next episode, just get this all tied in, make it look good, build up the elevated pathway here. Um, I'm going to finish the barn off camera. And then, I think once Diplodocus is done, we're gonna take another break from the dinosaurs uh, and go back over to our last project, which we're gonna run over there right now. Um, Cause you know, we took, what is it? This is episode like 54, I think. So probably like episode 60 will probably be when we're done with all the rebuilding the dinos and getting the Diplodocus in and stuff like that. So probably following episode 60, we're gonna take another break from the dinosaur stuff, and we're gonna head back over to this side of the park. Um, which funnily enough, I've realized, is very much turning into the non-Saurian part of the uh, zoo. Cause we're not gonna have any dinosaurs on this side of the river, well, like in this river area, we're just gonna build a bridge up there to the next dinosaur section. The spinos might be going like right over here, but that's about it. Um, which is funny because I did want to do a whole river thing and now I'm kind of realizing I don't. Although I didn't realize this river here connects all the way up to the lab, which is kind of cool, I think. Um, but yeah, following uh, Diplodocus, we're going to come back over here. And I guess this is the, the only question I really have for you guys today. Uh, we have two directions we can go with the mammal, or three directions we can actually go with the uh, non-dinosaur section of the zoo right now. So we have this area back here, which will probably be lead on to like Quaggas, Megalania, the rest of the Terror Birds, and the Smilodon, I think, are all gonna go over here. Oh, and the Dodos. And up here, where we've got like the, the beginning of the redo of the mountain and, uh, you know, the, the Platybelodon exhibit up here on the mountain, like we've talked about, uh, that's going to be not smile at Megaloceros, uh, Lasmotherium, and the Mammoths. So, 
those are the two animal options that we have, uh, obviously like each in their respective area. And then the third option we have is actually not animal related at all, but uh, a side project we kind of talked about a few episodes ago, which is the ranger station and the veterinarian area for the, the mammal section of the park, or the non-dino section of the park, I guess. Uh, which will probably be right up here in this dense wood... Dense wood? No, what is it called? Dark forest. Deep forest? Mushroom forest? I don't know what it's called. Uh, but like over here is probably where these those two buildings are gonna go. Although, man, that's beautiful. This might actually end up being an exhibit. Yeah, no, this is gonna have to be an exhibit. I don't know which animal I'm putting here, but one of the animals is going over here. And that actually connects up with the... Uh, that path over there, I think. I can get that to work. Huh, I don't know what we can put here. Maybe this could be the Smilodons? Who knows? Um, but, like, uh, the veterinarian, I guess actually, you know what, we'll, we'll, we'll leave the ranger station, the vet area for later, I guess, because that's probably something I should finish the rest of the area for, so I kind of know what's what and what's going where before I start planning out big buildings. Anyway, um, I think that's about it. I know this episode's been very short, uh, sorry about that, but I just didn't really have a lot to do. And I've been, again, I like Atlas, I, I have to run the entire, I've been running a lot of that. So that took a lot of work and a lot of time and I have so much uni stuff I need to work on right now. It's kind of blowing my mind. Uh, so yeah, sorry about the uh, this episode not really having as much stuff happen. Uh, but yeah, next episode, starting the Brachiosaurus, hopefully we'll be able to finish the entire Brachiosaurus uh, upgrade in one episode. I think we really will. It's not too much work, actually. It's just... I mean, if we hop over there real quick. Uh, it's. I think it's pretty much just, like, flattening out the terrain a bit. Like, smoothing the terrain out, re uh, building the fence up. And here's a beautiful little compi exhibit. Um, and once that's done... Hopefully, yeah. I mean, I feel like it looks like a lot of work, but it really isn't, because all I need to do is just bring the fence out. Once the fence is done, I mean, yeah, it's just kind of, it already kind of fits with the current terrain in the exhibit. It, it lines up pretty well. So just, you know, continuing to line up the exhibit and its terrain. Um, and yeah, once that's done, it's just throw in some trees, maybe another little lake, and we'll be good should be awesome. It would be pretty nice to have that all, this whole area just finally done. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think that's all I've got planned for today. Um, I know these guys need a new exhibit, but their exhibit's already kind of working. And I think that's the thing as well. It's like, the trikes I'm going to come in probably off camera, we'll obviously finish the barn, throw in some trees, and that'll be that. Uh, but once that's finished, really, and once we get the Brachiosaurus exhibit upgraded, I don't really need to do much more with the park. I mean, I could throw a tree or two into the Stego exhibit, but for the most part, every exhibit we have is in a decent place. It looks like a real exhibit, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Anyway, I've rambled on long enough, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you've all enjoyed this rather short episode, and are looking forward to next episode. I'm, I am very excited to work on the Brachiosaurus. Uh, I think it should be pretty cool to get that finished finally. It's been a pretty big project. So yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you've all enjoyed, and I hope you're looking forward to next episode. So until then, see ya.